hey guys so welcome back to my channel it's your girl gh kings thanks for coming back and for those that have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel thank you all for doing so so today like you guys saw i'm going to be sharing with you guys my wash day routine okay and all the techniques that i'm actually currently using hey guys so the only thing that you guys mixed is the part that i shampooed my hair so yeah i told you guys that i am back to trying to grow my natural hair um, and I want to use all natural products so I decided to actually go back to Shea Moisture products because when I started my natural hair growth journey I started with them so for this wash day I'm actually using the Power Greens line okay I love these products I already made a review on them so yeah I did shampoo my hair and right now I have the conditioner in it so you're supposed to wait for like three minutes and then rinse it out and then you know put like like a leave-in conditioner or whatever product you want in your hair okay so personally i stopped using leave-in condition um my three minutes is up so i'm going to actually go ahead and um wash this and so far i i haven't combed my hair um the only thing i did is after i shampooed the hair when i was applying the conditioner i just finger detangled my hair okay with the conditioner that's the only thing that i have done so far so now as i undo the twist you know i like to actually finger detangle the hair just a little bit okay and then put my hair into four sections and honestly you guys don't have to use all natural products like i always say use the products that work for your hair okay use the products that work for your hair and to be honest it's not every natural product that will work on your hair there are some product or some line that it just works best for your hair and that's what i actually do so yeah i've parted my hair straight down in the middle and i'm going to section this into two okay and i'm going to twist it and before i do that i like to run my hand see this is a section i like to run my hand through it just to see if there are any tangles and if there are just you know detangle them so these are all the tips that i'm actually using currently and i just like to twist the hair away and like i said in like 15 to 20 minutes later like the hair should be a bit more dry and then I just move on to my next stage, okay? And so far, my hair actually actually like loves this procedure. Like, it's not overwhelming. The only thing is that it actually takes a couple of days, okay? Because today, I'm going to put the aloe vera in my hair. And then I'll have to wait. That's why I like to do this in the morning. And then I would like to wait till the next morning to actually put my hair in a protective style, okay? yeah but if your hair is not full like mine is or if you use blow dryer you know your hair is going to be dry you know within the same day and if you want you can do your protective style the same day but i don't like to use blow dryer on my hair i don't want to use like no heat on my hair so yeah i just like my hair to air dry on its own and it takes a like, quite a bit of time which is fine so yeah i've noticed when i do this in the morning or even in the afternoon like in the next morning my hair is fully dry and i can go ahead and style my hair like i was saying i no longer use um, a leave-in conditioner on my hair and this is the reason why okay so after shampooing my hair and applying the con that um razor conditioner you know um of course for natural hair your hair is going to be dry if you don't leave a living condition in your hair right so what i do is that i put aloe vera in my hair before i use like one cube of aloe vera and add a little bit of water to it in a spray bottle shake it and apply it to my hair but now i have stopped i use two of the cubes okay so i don't have to add no water to it and that's what i'm going to be doing to my hair <laughs> that's why i've sectioned my hair into four so when i apply this aloe vera like my hair is moisturized okay for two weeks i have tried this for two weeks and yes my hair is still moisturized for two weeks my new growth or the root of my hair does not feel hard it feels soft okay so yeah this is just the thing that my hair loves and i'm sticking with it this is the reason why i no longer buy a living conditioner okay and also like when i'm about to uh, put my hair in a protective hairstyle i put hair oil on my hair okay depending on the hair on um, protective hairstyle if it's a protective hairstyle that i want it to last me for like two weeks i will put like a bit of oil and then i'll put some shea butter mix on my hair if it's a protective hairstyle that i want it to last me for a week i will just go ahead and put hair oil nowadays i don't really put that much of shea butter on my hair like i used to because my protective hairstyles i like them to last me for like a week to a week and a half 
and since i've been doing this for like two almost two months now i started in may yeah almost two months now i have actually seen new growth growing in my scalp i mean yeah we we all go here every month right but like literally like i can when uh, my hair is like in a positive hairstyle and i touch my hair i can feel like okay this one is actually a new growth you understand where i'm coming from so i'm very happy about that and it actually keeps my hair like moisturize and it also makes my hair feel so soft throughout the whole week, week to week and a half or even two weeks so i really love this method so yeah if you guys want to try it out you can go ahead and definitely do that it also saves a lot of money because a conditioner costs like what 10 to 15 dollars i'm talking about shea moisture products you know and aloe vera costs like 199 two dollars so even if i'm using two cubes for every week like the thing before i was thinking it would last me for four months but since i'm using like two cubes it should last me about like two two to two and a half months okay because sometimes i also use some for my face all right guys so my time is up and this is aloe vera so usually when i'm about to go and wash my hair i actually put the cubes in this ziploc container and then i put like warm water in a bowl and then i leave it in it so by the time that i'm done and the 15 minutes is over it's like already melted so yeah and like i was saying i also put aloe vera in my face as well okay because my face is discolorated so yeah i just like to go off go on and do that at this point okay and with the one on my face i don't rinse it out i just leave it till like at night okay and then i just wash it sometimes i even sleep with it it's just to help me out a little bit with the discoloration so yeah now that that is over we have a lot of juice here so if you want you can actually use one okay but if you want you can also use two and you can see this is still good okay i made this a, um, a while ago so yeah let's just start off with sections okay i'm going to start off with this one so i undo it and you might want to ask me like why do i wait for my hair to dry a little bit before i add the aloe vera the only reason i do this is because you know when water is in your hair your hair is already like pretty much soft and i would just use like just a little bit of aloe vera i wouldn't use i wouldn't need this amount of aloe vera on my hair because my hair is already wet you understand but if my hair is um a bit dry then I, I will have to use more aloe vera and that's what i want because the more aloe vera the more my hair is going to be conditioned throughout the whole week okay so yeah even with that section i like to section smaller sections and just apply a good amount of aloe vera in my hair and once it's good i just leave it and then take another section from the same twisted hair okay And usually I do this in the bathroom and I also put this in a spray bottle but just so that oh my goodness <laughs> but today I'm I'm not using a spray bottle and I'm not doing this in the bathroom and it's a bit challenging but anyway okay so I am done with this section for now and this is what I'm gonna do let me leave the aloe, aloe vera somewhere I'm going to take it and I'm going to squeeze in between the sessions making sure that each strand try my best to make sure each strand is saturated with some aloe vera and i also put some in my palm okay rub it together and put it on the sides okay on all the sides of my hair because of course most likely they didn't get some aloe vera <laughs> and with the front i grab some aloe vera and then i just apply it i just apply it and making sure they are all saturated and once I'm done, of course, go ahead and finger detangle the whole section. And the conditioner that I use actually smells good in the shampoo, so my hair is still smelling like the conditioner. Once I am done saturating my hair with the aloe vera, the next thing to do is to actually put my hair into twists, okay? And I don't do big twists. I just do medium-sized twists. And sometimes when I take the section, I noticed like some of the aloe vera wasn't in the root of my hair so I'll make sure that they all get into the root of my hair and then I'll pop the hair 
and then I will twist the hair. Just regular twist. This is the part that actually takes like quite a bit of time because you need to take your time. Especially well with me because I don't like use comb on my hair like that. So I take another section making sure it is saturated in aloe vera. Finger detangle it and then twist it. So as you can see in this section I have about I'm going to end up with like four twists which is like normal okay on the normal day <laughs> that's what happens each section I, I end up with like four um four twists so in total I'm going to end up with like 16 twists on my hair which is good because by tomorrow my hair will be dried and right now my hair is very soft moisturized and I love it So once I am done with that, I like to grab just a tiny bit more of aloe vera and concentrate it on my roots, making sure that my roots are saturated, just in case it did not get saturated. And I like to go on with the scrunching and starting from my roots, I actually like twist it like so, so that my roots will be a bit more stretched, so my root is a bit more tight and stretched. And after that, I like to just move it like so until I get to the end. In the end, I kind of bend it so it looks like this. So guys, I am finally done. Okay, oh my god. This is the hardest part of this wash day, okay? It's the part that takes quite a bit of time. Um, I'm basically done, so I have my hair in four sections. You guys saw how I did all that. So yeah, um, my hair, as you can see, the roots are very... See, it's like baby soft. It's so soft. And I really love it. And even my edges as well. And this has also been helping my edges grow, um, grow a little bit more, okay? So basically, um, I'm done and it's like 3 something. It's almost 4 p.m. So yeah, um, by the time I'm ready to go to bed, the hair would be all dried or almost dried, okay? So the next, and then I'll put on a hair bonnet, of course, before I sleep. And the next morning, what I do is that I go in with the aloe vera infused hair oil that I made. So basically, I use the hair oil from the Divine Care Naturals on ST, and then I did the aloe vera infused oil with the aloe vera and, um, I think it was coconut oil and I put a little bit of grapeseed oil in it to get the aloe vera infused oil and then I added it to that hair oil that I sell on ST. <laughs> okay, and so I'm going to apply that on my scalp, massage it in my hair, make sure my roots is soaked <laughs> in some oil, get some of my strands as well and then I go in with this detangling brush i'm matching right <laughs> um i go in with this detangling brush like i love this brush i got it from my local beauty supply store for like i think for something i love it because as you guys can see like the combs are like the combs are not attached to this plastic thing that is attached to the what you call it to the base the combs is directly attached to the base so you don't have to worry about the thing popping out and for you to fix it and all that so i love it and it's not hard on my hair as as well it's very soft on my hair so yeah so tomorrow after i put the hair oil on my hair i'm going to use this brush to actually detangle um each section and then i will just go ahead and put my hair into a positive hairstyle so that's all that i'm going to be doing so yeah basically that's it that's how my wash day routine actually goes so it's not something complicated it's very easy we can all do this you don't have to use shea moisture products you know buy any products that your hair loves and that's it basically this is like easy cheap way <laughs> okay easy cheap way guys easy cheap way so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you have any questions for me leave it in the comment section below i will gladly come back and answer all your questions so see you guys on my next video Bye and thank you for watching. I love you all and as always, God loves you more. See you guys.